Hello y'all. This is Kaiser Redux, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod that acts as an unofficial standalone expansion for the Kaiserreich mod. Kaiserreich itself is set in a world where the central powers won World War I. With that said, this video is going to act as part one of a Kingdom of Burma playthrough. We have begun and let's go to our national overview where we can see that we have two national spirits and they are young officer core and birds of a feather and besides that the ruling ideology of the country is authoritarian democracy of the Agliarchism variety and the country leader is Maya Miet Fayalai who historically was a royal princess and the most senior member of the royal house of Kunbuong. She was the daughter of the last Burmese monarch whose reign had ended back in the 19th century after he was defeated by the British in the Third Anglo-Burmese War. So in, well historically at this point in time, Burma I believe was part of the British Raj in our timeline, but here it is an independent state. And now research slot available, we have two of them, let's go with basic machine tools, get the bare necessities as they can be called, construction one, so basic machine tools and construction one. As for our army, we have six divisions. Do we have a navy? No. Any air force? No. So six divisions, which consist of three militia units and three infantry units. So let's take these guys here and place them place them somewhere. We have quite a few commanders. That's good. Take Bob Maul here. He's going to be have a field marshal, maybe. Yes, take Smith Dunn. Is that right? Smith Dunn. He's going to go watch the border with the... Siam, well, with the Siamese, I guess. It's Siam, so it's not, I mean, Thailand? I mean, it's not really Thailand yet, so I guess Siamese is a proper term there. And let's build some civilian factories in Rangoon, our capital state. No national focus set. Let's go with the Striding Peacock. A Striding Peacock across our domains. Across our domain stands our monarchy, freshly revived by the Kaiser during the collapse of the British Spear of Influence, we have slowly rebuilt our traditional monarchy. But much remains to be completed, and our detractors eye the Queen Hungary. Hungary, and the we'll get a Spirit of Duong, which will grant. Well, once this national spirit is done, we'll get a Spirit of the Duong national spirit, which will do well. It will make subversive activities from foreigners less effective in the country. So that is that. And as for decisions, let's not worry about this. We do have the Siamese-Burmese War, that's a thing that can happen. Something about integrating the Shan states, that is an event we can do if we take the Lower Shan, which I think is right here, yeah. We can do that, no divisions in basic training. Let's get some infantry and let's look at our templates. Our standard infantry division has 18 combat with the militia, on the other hand, have 16. No, they're 18 also, but I think militia are just easier to make. So at the time, for the time being, let's get to the, let's just have some militia for the sake of having some more militia. And I don't know if militia battalions is a proper term for a unit consisting of 9,000 units, 9,000 soldiers, but whatever. We just need more units on the border with the a war-torn nation. Well, I, do I want militia or infantry? I gotta make my mind up here. Let's just have some infantry instead. I gotta read this event too, obviously. So get these guys deployed. The 4th Rifles Division will be ready to go soon enough. A war-torn nation. The 1925 British Revolution unavoidably caused the downfall of the once mighty colonial empire. While India proper soon cemented in the three separate nation states, the status of Burma was long unclear, with Bharatiya, Siamese, Chinese, native Burmese, and British loyalist forces all operating in the country. The region was a chaotic patchwork of territories resembling near warlordism. Although the British loyalists, operating mainly from Mandalay and Ragoon, were soon crushed and the Chinese were soon distracted by their own civil war, the Bharatiyas and the Siamese kept troops within the country until 1929, when, fed up with the unstable situation, German mediation brought an end to the hostilities. The resulting treaty awarded parts of the eastern and northern Burma to Siam and left the rest of the country under a restored Kambuang dynasty. In the years since, Queen Mayat Fayalai has struggled to cement her rule against an increasingly radical and politically demanding populist. All the while, Bharatiya waits for an opportunity to spread the revolution east. When the day comes, will Burma be ready? And we shall pass through this hardship together. So that is a background event. So, like in real life, Burma was part of the British colonial empire for a few decades. 
Then when the British lost World War I, the Kingdom of Burma returned as a state. And how many units does Siam even have? Let me check. They have, they have what? 10 to 19 divisions at most. Okay, just wondering there. We might need, if we fight them later on, we're going to have to do it early because they may join the East Asian Co-Prosperity Spear. That would be bad for us. The 1936 Riga Winter Olympics, they may join the Co-Prosperity Spear. I'm not sure if it's called the East Asian Co-Prosperity Spear in this timeline or just a Co-Prosperity Spear. But anyway, they'll join the Japanese faction depending on what happens to them, which could be a risk for us. That could be a problem. I don't want to have to fight Japan to get, take over Siam. Edward VIII is crowned as King of Great Britain. All right, then. And how's this focus here going? It's more than halfway through. Good. And who do we have in our government? We have a flamboyant brute as the head of government. As for the foreign minister, we have a cloak and dagger schemer. The economy minister is a resource industrialist. And the minister of the interior is a silent lawyer, apparently. Afghanistan declared war on Delhi, and there's the Great Berlin stock market crash. That is going on. Black Monday is here. It has a big blow to the economy of the Reichspakt, which is the German faction. And the Jacobins are elected in France. That has taken place in Europe. How is our infantry divisions doing? They're doing all right. We have one military factory, so we do have to keep that in mind. So we can't go wild producing tons and tons of divisions. We're in a pretty bad weapons deficit also right now. And Fong Dal takes to the Hlang River. And HRH Ashun Hatuk Sapaya Mafayalat took to the waters of the Hlang River today on the majestic royal barge Fong Do. This unscheduled voyage was designed to shore up support among the viceroys of the territories along the river route and showed a peasantry that their queen was still ruling and had not left the country as some syndicalist rumors had stated in the face of the economic slowdown. A flotilla of supporting vessels crewed by the palace guard kept other fishing vessels at bay including the accidental sinking of one leg roller compensated from the royal treasury and we might not be able to afford it much longer and we'll take 10 political power minus 10 political power from that event so evidently there is some instability in Burma just a tiny bit it's sort of under wraps right now and in our focus tree I think China is going to fall apart I sign independence let's see reform the council get that done it says here it is clear that the privy count it is clear that the privy council has failed to react with candor and sincerity to the problems posed by both the, the German economic fallout and the syndicalist agitators. We shall appoint a broader range of council members to ensure further elasticity in responding to future crises. crises. And from this focus, once it is done, we'll get a national spirit called Reformed Privy Council. And Gallo seizes control of Ecuador. That's going on in the almighty Don Ho's declared war on Kamikia, which is breaking away from them, I believe. That's what typically happens, if I recall. Senegalists take over in Australasia. That has gone on. That is interesting, I guess. How's our infantry division doing? We still need quite a bit of equipment before it can be deployed at all. Reform the council will be done soon enough. We're going to try and join the Reichspack later when we have the chance, using this focus here. Hopefully the Germans say yes, but who knows. I am thinking they'll want an ally in Asia. The left Kuomintang, Kuomintang declared one to Anqing. And that has occurred. So China is like, and the whole, how to say it, everything's just sort of, everything's kind of falling apart in China right now. The Qing hegemony is sort of not really a thing anymore. I don't know if it ever was a thing, but they had a faction at the start, I believe. And modify officer core. Let's not worry about that. I just need to save my political power for now. Get like, get like some military staff or something, maybe. I don't know. How is Afghanistan doing? I think they just pieced out, didn't they? Yes, they did. They just pieced out. That has occurred. And reform the council will be done soon. And now let's complete invest in the viceroys. That will take 49 days. So let's read this. It says, The viceroy system has always benefited our monarchy well, providing, an ex providing us extra levies and taxes in our times of need. And Marshal Bataan is declaring martial law in Algiers. And providing us extra levies and taxes in our time times of need and a Polish military seizing control in Poland in our times of need while allowing us to rely on an elite corps of soldiers for defense and the Royal Treasury flexibility in our spending. We shall reimburse them. That is fast. Wow, we shall reimburse them. Oh my, it's only 1936, guys. What are you doing? 
What are you doing, Anton? What are you doing? Okay, whatever. We shall reimburse them for these boons and further strengthen this system of patronage. And we'll get two off-map civilian factories from this focus. Yeah, the French national state has decided 1936 is the year to go beat up the Third International. Why do they think this was a good idea? I have no idea. What in the world, guys? I don't know if you're ready for that. I mean, I, I admire your boldness, but I'm not sure if you'll win that one. I am not sure at all. And doc decisions available, don't worry about that for now. And the KDP wins the Russian elections, that is going on. I don't know what the KDP is. Is it like a Democratic Party? Let me check. KDP, they are market, market liberals, liberal conservatism. Okay. Just curious what's going on in Mongolia. There's no, the world leaders, Dim Chong Dong Rub, who's like a, he's a prince, essentially, of the Borgerin dynasty, I believe, which is the dynasty of Genghis Khan, if I'm right on the matter. Malta secures independence. There's a naval battle there in the Mediterranean. It's over now. Basic Machine Tools has been researched. Let's now... And Australasia has shown the Anton. There was a guard coup. Let's research Concentrated Industry 1. Get that done. Terrific. And what can we do? Invest in the Viceroys is done. Let's now... Oh, wait. i got to wait to do something now, I think. But in our focus tree, let's do, say... Complete the TAT. The TATMADAL. The coordinating limbic system of our combined armed forces is the TATMADAL. Long have they served as a function similar to the German General Staff in continual war planning and coordinating in the function of the forces loyal to the state itself. And from this national, from this focus, we'll get 25 army experience and plus one. Well, I mean, we'll get one 50% cost reduction for land doctrine. And as for land doctrine, I may do mass assault. I don't know. I have to consider my options. I don't feel that we'll have tons of factories for superior firepower. And riots and protests in, at Rangoon University. Let me read that. Dissatisfaction with the lack of popular involvement in the government, ha in the government has sparked some of the greatest demonstrations seen in our country since independence was achieved in 1926. Stemming from the great and prestigious Rangoon University, radicalized leftist students have occupied several administrative buildings and held rallies denouncing the monarchy and its feudal backers as being corrupt and detrimental to the welfare of the nation. Still, the demonstrators haven't managed to garner the support of the industrial workers and rural farmers, restricting the buddy movement to the intelligentsia and sending, sending, send in the batons and sabers. So we're going to crack down on that and take a hit in political power. And that will be something that's going on. So here's Rangoon, the capital, which that revolution is relatively close at home. I mean, that event is relatively close at home for the Queen of Burma. And how is China doing? Check it on China. War still raging on there in eastern China. It looks like near Beijing, well, south of Beijing. That's just happening. Malta joined the Reichs Pact. That has occurred. All right, then. Manuel Carles assumes full control of Argentina. The Chata Madal, I'm, that's going to take, well, it's going to be done relatively soon, I hope. What do we do after this? I may do something relating to the Union, the Syndicalist Union achieved majority in the Socialist Republic of Italy, I think. I may do industrial outreach, do all these focuses to get ourselves some supplies and fall, I mean, get some factories and stuff. Fall of the Kingdom of Finland and coup d'etat in Siam. So that is, what is going on there? That's interesting. Very interesting. So that is going to go. There may, be, there may be a civil war in Siam. Possibly. Time will tell if there is or not. We'll just have to see and wait there. What's going on in Central Asia? There's a Khanate. Well, there, I mean, there's two Khanates now. White Sun over China, that's some event. There is an Islamic Federation, a Khanate. Well, the other Khanate, the Khanate of Kiva, Alesh Orda. That is, they exist. And then there's a bunch of Caucasus nation, nations. Are they done here? Uh, no, the, they peaced out. The Kalmyk, Feder the Kalmyk Socialist Republic and the Russian Liberation Committee peaced out. So... I guess the almighty Don Host stopped being a thing, so now Kamikia can be independent. And let's research electronic mechanical engineering to make research speed faster overall. Good, the Tatmadal is nearly done. Death of T.G. Masaryk in Bohemia, sad. And Tatmadal is nearly done, good. And now, there's a monarchy restored in Greece, crazy. 
Let's do industrial outreach. Industrial outreach. The treasury in recent years has swelled with various taxes and duties flowing into it and little being reinvested back into the economic sector. If we are to rival the great foe to the south, it's clear that this must change. And from this focus, we'll get one 100% one research bonus for construction technology. And the United Baltic Duchy has collapsed. That is, well now there's Estonia, Latvia, I think Riga. Well, only had joined the Reichspact, and that's occurred. And there's a coup d'etat in Siam again, is that right? The German Empire is going to fight the Netherlands for some reason. And I hope, I don't know how much instability Siam's going to have. They seem to be having issues, though. And the Dutch, I don't know what caused them to get into a war with the Germans. I can only imagine what caused that. They're going to be destroyed. I mean, they're going to be forced to join the Reichspact, essentially. That's what I predict happening there. They're just way too outnumbered. And this division we have here should be ready by, let me see, should be ready by... 18th September 1936, unless anything changes. Don't worry about modifying officer corps. Do we actually do that, though? I don't know. Military staff, military command focuses, laws. Mau Mau, Jackals of Kenya. That's some book event. We could go to partial mobilization. Yeah, let's just... No, we don't want to do that. Go to early mobilization, possibly. How many factories do we even have? We have... That war is over. yet. the Netherlands lost, as predicted. We have eight factories. I may go to early mobilization just to cut down consumer goods factories. We'll see what happens there. Dutch East Indies join the Entente. Of course they did. I may or may not do that. I don't know, because we have so few factories. I don't know if that would make a massive difference if we went to 35. If we had 30% versus 35%, I may just go ahead and get a military command focus done. And let's go with offense. Division attack will go up because of our choice. And in a focus tree, let's do Rangoon Manufacturing Zone. It says here, Rangoon has been exempt both under the royals and the British from the stifling subsumentary laws that have plagued the Old Kingdom. And it's, so it is the perfect location to kickstart our new economic manufacturing zone. And from this, we'll get, say, two civilian factories. And in other news, strike at strikes at the Yangguang oil fields. Workers at the oil fields around Yiguang, Chuesk, and Minbu have commenced a crippling strike in protest against rampant corruption and deplorable living conditions. Police units and paramilitary, paramilitary forces have so far been completely unsuccessful in containing the protesters who have occupied oil fields, waving red flags and chanting an anti-monarchy songs. Something must be done to placate their demands, lest national support for their cause explodes. And let's choose to crush them for political power purposes. Just do that, and we'll see what happens. I hope I made the right decision, because I don't want to... I'm trying to keep Miet Fialite in power. I'm not intentionally trying to do the syndicalist path for Burma, which is the alternative here, if you could figure... Well, it's in the focus tree. It's a little obvious there is one. And have they been crushed? Not yet. We'll still have to crush them more, I guess. And now... Kumo Kane declared war on someone, and Alash Orda is fighting Russia. Don't know if that was the best call, but they are doing it. Very interesting move there. Very interesting indeed. And so we wait to see how the events of our issues with our strikes will progress, I suppose. And this unit here is still going to be deployed on the 18th of September, or no, the 11th of October. The 11th of October. And let's go for mass assault for our... Army Doctrine, Mass Assault, please. Thank you, game. And the Siamese have moved quite a few divisions to our border we have with them. Don't know why, they just have. Electronic Mechanical Engineering is done. Now let's go for Mechanical Computing, get that done. Good creation of the International Avant-Garde. I'm really hoping I don't regret using up that political power to deal with the Rangoon students arise in solidarity. Oh boy. Cat catastrophe, just like the years before, students from Rangoon University have they have risen up against the monarchy in critical demonstrations and protest. However, this year, the radicalized student leaders, lamenting still rampant corruption and autocracy, have joined calls with the equally disgruntled oil workers and young Gurong Chuak and Minbu, so it's oil workers and students working together. But anyway, it's giving the movement a truly national scope. Short of backing down and sh and standing the monarchy's honor, 
only a firm military reaction will solve this hopeless situation. Solve this hopeless situation. This is outrageous. Deploy the army against these youths, and will take a hit in political power once more. And Rangoon will take a little bit of infrastructure damage. So the German fleet arrives in Yangon. Today, a massive German fleet arrived in Yangon. The German naval delegation came to show their support to the Burmese monarchy. The dissenters have been shocked and deterred by the powerful German fleet, mighty Germany. So is that done now? Are we finished with this? No, guess not. So the German fleet scared some people protesting against the monarchy of Burma. Hopefully that will help us. I think it will. I'm trying to get cynicalist humiliated complete, which has not occurred yet. We have a long way to go to we're going to be back into positive political power. It's fine, though. I mean, I don't regret getting at least one military command focus now. And Rangoon, Rangoon Manufacturing Zone will be done shortly. There we go. Let's now complete. Let's do expand the foundries. We cannot rely on foreign imports like we learned in the past from Perfidious Albion. And we must strive to be self-sufficient in arms. Numerous new foundries will be established to provide innumerable weapons for our forces. And this will give us two military factories in Arakan, the state of Arakan. And unassigned divisions here. Let's put them with Army 1, which is the Burmese army. And the next division will hopefully be deployed faster once we have more equipment for them. And let's go ahead and put tons of guns on the line here to be manufactured in advance. Come on, get this done. Expand the foundry is good. Good, good, good. And I am really curious. I don't think there's going to be a civil war in Siam. That's always something that can be ha that can happen, but it hasn't here. They seem to have gone like with a social democracy, social democrat monarchy, maybe, it seems. And the army is ordered to fire upon protesters. Oh boy. After what seems an eternity, after what seems an eternity, it has finally come down to a confrontation between the students protesting at Rangoon University and the Royal Burmese Army. News have reached a lo local commanding officer that a march of striking oil workers is making its way toward the capital, gathering support from the rural villages along the way. On top of all, orders are ticking in from the general staff for the army to, to disperse the protesters. As the days wind down, it seems that Burma's day, Burma's destiny, is at hand. And so, what can we do here? And so, the army is going to help out the monarchy. And from this, we'll lose 100 political power, and we'll also have several ideologies continue well. Social conservatism, authoritarian democracy, paternal autocracy, and national populism will become more popular in the country due to us taking this, this, well, this choice in this event. And that is done. So there's going to be no more syndicalist threat, I believe. And is that over? Yes, yes it is. Syndicalists have been humiliated. And once we get done with expand the foundries, we'll go ahead and continue along the special path for Miet Fai and the authoritarian democracy of, well, the monarchy of Burma. George Norris is elected president of the USA. That is going on. And they'll probably still have the Second American Civil War no matter what president they have. I've never seen the AI avoid the Second American Civil War in Kaiser Redux. I think they can, but I've just never seen it. It's very rare. It's like a unicorn in this world. And how's the Alash Order War going with Russia? Not very well. They have had their country effectively carved in half. So I don't know what they expected to happen, honestly. That was a bad mistake. They should have united Central Asia before they even considered an option like that. Construction 2, get that started. Use that research bonus we have and get that completed. The Russian Republic annexed the Lash Order. Of course they did. That's not surprising at all. That is, yeah, just a very expected outcome. And there's a, another war in China. The Guangdong clique is declared war in the Guangxi military clique. Is that right? Going, yeah, they just split in half. It's like a civil war in that part of China. Essentially, from what I can gather, and Wadai declared war in the French national state, and the integralists are victorious in Brazil. And it seems that someone didn't do their occupation. They didn't deal with resistance very well, didn't they? Yeah, they kind of dropped the ball with that one. Baton, what are you doing? You're too focused on the French commune, aren't you? Expand the foundries is done. Let's now complete syndicalist humiliated and it says here the syndicalist rebel rousers and malcontents have been utterly humiliated at the failure of the little tatmadal in siding with them we shall provide clemency clemency for the workers and summary executions for the instigators or surely they would only do the same to us 
and once this focus is done we'll get a national spirit called a red river flow which will cause the popularity of totalism syndicalism and radical socialism they will lose those ideologies will lose support every single day from now on once that focus is done and I have how effective has the Entente been in their war with the let me check actually how many casualties they have taken so 69,000 casualties in the Entente meanwhile the Internationale has taken 1k that's pretty that's pretty terrible guys like what do you why did you think this was a good idea did the French national state launch like five naval invasions that just kind of crashed and burned it seems like they did like seriously 1k versus nearly 70,000 that is a terrible ratio of casualties there and the Khanate of Kiva joined the Bukharan Union, so did the Kokan Kokan Khanate, and now there are, and now there's an Islamic Federation of Turkestan. Without, they're not going to have Kazakhstan though. They're part of Russia now. Interesting, very interesting. And so we're at 300 minus 300 political power at this point in time. Cynical is humiliated. Has like 10 days until it's finished, and after that we can continue along our path, and ultimately join the Reich's Pact, or try to join the Reich's Pact, they should let us in, I would imagine. How are we doing with equipment? Fine. And that's great. Once we get a decent surplus, we'll start making two divisions at a time. Or no, let's just add another unit here for infantry. Get a 20 width unit. Good. Just have more soldiers in the army, period. Syndicalist humiliated is done. Now let's do the focus. Praise our ancestors. It says, it's clear that without our ancestors smiling down upon us, such as the great King Taibal, this is the, Taibal is the father of Miat, Miat, Miat Fayalai, that's who he is, but anyway, upon us, such as the great King Taibal, that we might have succumbed to the syndicalist threat and our monarchy brought low once more. We shall organize a new festival of reverence for all that they do in guiding and protecting the great peacock monarchy standoff in America that is going on. And we're going to get one military factory from this focus, as well as two civilian factories in Rangoon, which is our capital state, as I've probably said before. Here's a new infantry division. Put them on the border. Good. And should I start exercising with these soldiers? I don't know. We're going to be in a deficit right now for equipment until we can finally get all of our units equipped with rifles. Fortunately, we're getting more military factories, so that is going to help us in our production. And how is America faring? Oh, there's a peace conference that's over to Nanjing, Klikot, Annex, Annex, what am I saying? I think that's what happened. The left Kuomintang is fighting a war with the Anqing, and yeah, they're just fighting them. That's happening. Mysore State declared war, war on the Princely Federation. That is taking place in the Indian subcontinent. Research sought available. Let's go for Concentrated Industry 2. Good Anqing declared war on Shang, Ring, Tung. What in the world is happening? And Javidia Nadu declared war on the Princely Federation. They are looking to break away from the Princely Federation, I suppose. It's three countries against one. Who knows what's going to happen there. They may have good chances of accomplishing their objectives, depending on how much of the Princely Federation's military is stuck in, say, places like Madurai and Cochin down here in southern India. And there's the American, second American Civil War is going on, and the USA is probably going to be stuck fighting that for the remainder of this playthrough. So they're not going to be united anymore. The Guangxi military government has lost their war. Now the Liang Giang, the Liang Guang clique has taken over that particular part of China completely. The Guangxi area, I suppose. I think that's what you could call it. I believe that's the right name for it. Praise our ancestors is done. Now let's do Royal Blood, Swor Blood Sworn Guard. And it says here, our loyalist and dedicated shock troopers reside within the Blood Sworn Guard. Interesting name. Very intimidating. Anyway, they were chosen from our closest vassals and servants. They dedicated their lives to protecting us from those who would do us harm. We shall expand their number and ensure that they can protect us from all threats that lurk in the dark. So that's the elite of the elite of the Burmese military, evidently. And they sh that focus will be ready in about 50 days. And the Central American Republic declared war on Costa Rica. Central American Republic's already formed. It's 1937. Wow. So I guess like Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras, and Nicaragua, they all had the same ruling ideology. They can just they just formed the Central American Republic that fast. That is honestly that is just that is that's impressive, frankly. 
I wonder how the Entente is going, how they're doing. Let's check on them. And they still have not made much progress in Europe, but the French national state had... Okay, they haven't even defeated the Wadai. Wadai, Wada. Well, they haven't even defeated them yet. Oh no, they peace out, so I guess that just... They own Chad now, so this is Chad at this point in time. They just control that part of Africa because the French national state cannot handle resistance too well since they decided to invade the Third International so relatively early. And there's a war going on here and, well, some naval battle going on going on in the Caribbean that's taking place. I can only imagine there's also some battles going on between the many navies of the Second American Civil War. And that is going on as well, obviously. China, well, the Xinjiang clique is, there's now a conflict in western China. It's between eastern Turkestan, east Turkestan, Xinjiang clique, the Kumal Khanate, they're taking on each other, and that's about it right now. Well, except for Anqing, Anqing versus the left Kuomintang, who don't seem to be making much progress, honestly. They're just kind of, I mean, they've taken some territory, it looks like, but so has their opponents. And how's this focus doing here? Royal Blood, Blood Sworn Guard is going to be done soon, and then we'll do East Sumputary Laws or something like that. We had to do this to request Reich's Pact entry. Come on, get done, please. Good. Royal Blood, Blood Sworn Guard is done. And the Russian Liberation Committee declared war on the Komik Soviet Republic, so that's some war, that's a conflict in the Northern Caucasus region. Here's some Royal Blood Sworn Guard, and they have a, well, they have, they are veteran troops in terms of experience level, so they're very good. We'll have to make sure to keep them alive. And what is their template, I wonder? They have so much artillery and support equipment. I don't need to start making that now won't I? Yes, yes I will. So, support equipment, artillery. We'll start having to make some more of that stuff. I think we have some, we have some of that in surplus for now, I think. Or not, I don't know. Whatever, we have 11 divisions at this point in time. And we're doing e-sumputary laws, and it says, how can we claim to be a modern nation while we forbid our subjects from building, building, built, I'm trying to read here, stop having wars and events from building with brick and mortar. That's what the sumptuary law is. The British shattered us with their modern arms and ways, and we still need to learn the lesson and tear up these ancient bygones. And the Ma clique declared war on Tibet. There's so much war breaking out now. That is crazy. That is, wow. So, Central American Republic is just going wild. They're already going to have united, at the rate they're going, they're going to have united all of the, all of Central America by the end of 1937. I can just see it now. That's going to be a pretty strong Central America, too. If Mexico tries to fight them, they may regret it. And the Sichuan clique declared war on Tibet. Do they even border them? I think they do. Let's get ready to research, please. Let me check on China once again. So much chaos there. And yes, the Sichuan clique does, in fact, border Tibet. What was I thinking? I don't know my Chinese ge geography very well. And how's that war in India going? Well, southern India with the... Yeah, the... Russo-Ottoman Convention has taken place, and this war is going on here. The Kingdom of Greece has joined the Belgrade Pact. The Belgrade Pact is going to get into a war with Bulgaria eventually. There we go. It's Serbia, Romania, and Greece. But yeah, in India, the Princely Federation is struggling to hold back these three nations that are fighting against them. And some new faction has popped up in the Spanish, Spanish Civil War, or that just started actually, what am I thinking? as what the world there's just so much things so much conflict and strife around the world at the very least it isn't boring i'll say that much so right now east sumptuary laws is going to be done good and please get done that's only nine more days away it's going to give us a national spirit which will grant us higher daily political power gain and higher stability all right then and conscription crisis in quebec that's occurred in canada just waiting for this to get done here. A few more days. Come on now. Just get there, get there, get there. Get there. I want to join the Reichs Pact. I want to be at the German... I want to be in the German faction. I need their power and influence here to help us out in Asia just a little bit so we can dominate Southeast Asia. So request Reichs Pact entry. I really hope they don't say no. Don't say no. Please, Kaiser Wilhelm II. We owe now both the survival and the revival of our blessed kingdom to our German benefactors. With the eternal foe to the south getting even closer to the sun god, which I think is the Japanese emperor, I could be wrong, we must react in any kind, we must react in kind and align ourselves with the Reichs Pact for protection and possibly 
even more. And I guess the Germans don't even have an option to say no to us being allowed into the faction, which is fine by me. The Savoyard, the Savoyard, Savoyard crisis was resolved. That was between France and the Italian Federation, I believe. I think it was. It's Upper Aragon and Savoy. Yeah, that's been resolved. And how much longer will this take? After this, we're probably going to go ahead and do Ostasian. We're going to finish up every single part of this part of the focus tree. We're going to fight Siam. Then we're going to take out Barati the Baratia commune and win all the wars. We need more units, though. I do need more soldiers. How are we doing with equipment? We're not in a deficit, so let's start recruiting more units. Norway joined the Moscow Accord. That is the Russian faction, unsurprisingly, with a name like that. And Russia is market liberal, right. Are they going to try and invade Eastern Europe at all, I wonder? They have. They are Eurasianist, so who knows? They may attempt it. But, I mean, White Ruthenia, Ukraine, they're all part of the Russian Federation. I mean, Russian. I mean, they're all part of the German faction. And it looks like the Komik Republic kind of got devoured by Russia. The, what is this? The, the Russian Liberation Committee did not really get much done there, didn't they? They should have won that initial war as the almighty Don host, and they could have had that territory, as well as what they already have now. But that's their loss. And we're almost getting down to minus 100 political power. We're at a minus 110 right now. It just feels like it's taking forever to get to that point. And let's go ahead and set an offensive line here. And you know what I haven't noticed? There's no Indo-Chinese revolt, isn't there? Did they just, like, avoid that entirely? G German East Asia did? Maybe they did. I don't know. Or maybe it just occurs later, and I'm not thinking. I don't know my chronology chronology for Kaiser Redux and Kaiser Reich events. Oh, well. I mean, if they avoided it, that would be great for us, because if we invade Siam with their aid, we'll have them fighting on... They'll have an eastern front, and we'll attack from the west. And the United Mexican States join the 3rd International. That has happened. 7th Rifle Division, go to the front line, please. And Burma has joined the Reichs Pact. There we go. There we go. Yes, that's terrific. Now, join the Middle Europa. Yes. We'll be part of joining the Middle Europa. And Ostis Asian Expeditionary Force, it says here, with the formulation of our alliance, we can now benefit from the best training that Germany can offer. And who better to provide it than the Ost Asian East Asian Marine Corps? I'm trying to read here, please. East Asian Marine Corps, fearless in seizing Singapore and various feats of daring do in the jungles of Indochina. We are truly blessed. And we'll get a national spirit there that can help us out with our reinforce rate, equipment capture ratio modifier, and breakthrough stats. We'll also get 10,000k units of German equipment. And the fall of Atlanta is going on. That has happened. And that is bad for the Constitutional American Republic and the southern United States. The fall of Detroit, that's bad for the CSA. What is going on in the, in the USA? I know there's the Civil War. That is, wow. Venezuela declared war in the West Indies Federation. So Black Revolt popped up. Constitutional American Republic's having a bad time, but I mean, it's fair to say the CSA is having a rougher time than the CSA. There is the Belgrade Pact War. Haiti declared war on the Dominican Republic, and that has happened. So much conflict. That well, I mean, yeah. So Haiti is going to fight the Dominican Republic for who can rule over Hispaniola, I suppose. And we're going to have a few divisions ready soon. We're going to have to change our conscription law when we get the chance, aren't we? Probably. We're on volunteer only, too, so we still have a lot of manpower we can effectively tap into. And how's this war going here? Princely Federation still struggling to hold back Dravada, Dravida, Dravida, Nadu, and Mysore, as well as the Travancore State. Although I do think the Mysore State is losing some ground. So who knows what's going to happen. Well, I mean, the Princely Federation is struggling to maintain them, but I think they may have a chance of winning at the same time. Venezuela wants to resupply their ships and our ports. Sure, why not? And the Islamic Federation of Turkestan declared war on Russia. Considering Russia is not even at war with anyone else at this time, that could end... Oh, great, they're national populace now. That, this could end as well as the time Alash Orta thought declaring war on a peacetime Russia who was not in a conflict with anyone else was a good idea. Like, come on, guys. Did you not learn the lesson when your northern neighbors did this in Central Asia? And there's Totalists in the Baratia Commune. They may try to invade us later. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to be very careful of that. And did they send some expeditionaries to come and left Kumantang? It looks like they have. 
I, it seems that they have anyway. And Ost East Asian, well, German East Asian. This folk, okay, so to Bulgaria. Serbia lost a war. Ost Asian Expeditionary Force. So the Belgrade Pact was defeated. Wow. A Middle European Kayat. Our new allies within the Middle European Trading Bloc have made clear their desires for access to the Rangoon stock market and further goods access in exchange for like likewise benefits toward our Jadite exports. We would be silly not to take them up on this offer, being the only source of, for quality jade within the region. And from this, we'll get a national spirit called Devalued Kuyat, Kiat, Kayat, which will grant us minus 5% consumer good factories. So that's going to be less factories being used for consumer goods effectively. Now let's check on Serbia. Well, yeah, that's crazy. I guess Austria intervened, which did not end well for the... Did not end well for Serbia at all. Or Greece. Or Romania. Yeah, they're now puppets of Austria. Completely. And Bulgaria just took some land. I think that's all they did. I mean, that conflict went better for them than I would have thought. Honestly. And decisions available. Don't worry about that. The Black Revolt has capitulated. They lost to the Constitutional American Republic. Who is having a fun time fighting the American Union state. And the USA. And the Germans have sent... Oh, they sent support to the... The Germans decided to send support to the... To the Constitutional American Republic. So did Middle Africa. Why? I guess because they can. Meanwhile, the... The... Austrians sent support to the AUS, the American Union State. So like they technology to research, do computing machine, good, and now rifle division. Something happened in the Ottoman Empire thing. I saw like the Hagia Sophia in the background. I think that was the event picture anyway. Excavation two might be don't get ex don't no, don't do that tag. Go with support weapons. We need better weapons. Serbia crowns King Alexander III. We're doing the focus here. And we're going to be so ready to fight Siam soon. I really hope they don't join the Japanese faction. I am not looking forward to it if they, if they do. And it may not anyway, because just as I say that stuff about Japan, Emperor Hirohito has been assassinated. So that maybe shows some sign of chaos in Japan. Possibly. But now they have a new emperor, and it is Yasuhito, who is the brother of Hirohito. And I think so anyway. And I'm really going to have to count on German East Asia to help in... Malaya, and as well as Indochina, well, advance from Laos and Cambodia and Vietnam, while we push from the west, that is the plan for the offensive against Siam, which we hope to incorporate entirely into a new, I guess, a Burmese empire, and that will be our objective in this part of Asia. Then we'll turn to the Bartea Commune, and also, once again, well, once again, we'll rely on Reichspack support as we advance to, well, into that country when that time comes. And I imagine they'll have a lot of soldiers, because India has a huge population. I mean 11 to 49, that's not too bad. In terms of numbers, and we have our 14th division now, or 15th division, or whatever. Get this unit to the front line, regardless. And we have so many divisions. Low manpower, yes, I know. I still need I still need new artillery and support equipment. I need a factory on that stuff. Middle European Kiat is done. Now let's do Vanquish the old, the old foe. Come on, get that done soon. Move on, get, get the focus done. Vanquish the old, the old foe. And it says here, the time has finally come to put down the opponent to ourself, well, the country to ourself, that has troubled us for over 800 years. No more shall we tolerate broker, brokered peace or compromises. We shall annihilate their nation and reap the rewards we have long been denied. And we'll gain an annex war goal against the kingdom of Siam from that focus. And Burma and Siam as far as I know, have a history of being at war with one another throughout a, well, like, say, throughout the entire second millennium. And here, well, not the second, well, throughout the, from the 1000s to the 1700s, possibly. But anyway, looking back to North Africa, Algiers fell to the Third International, and Bataan is probably at this moment in time regretting his decision to set sail for France in 1936. Yeah, I don't think the declaration of war was the best idea there, buddy. I'm sorry. That just, that did not pan out for you at all. Not well at all. Big mistake. Big mistake. They're going to get destroyed. The Entente, at least the Entente itself will be fine. The French national state, however, they're going to be annexed by the Commune of France and the British. The Kingdom of Canada, 
at least has a ocean. The French national state just had, and now Liberia has even joined in. That's just adding insult to injury, isn't it? And they're advancing pretty well. Look at William Tubman. He's the he's in the land of liberty. He's the man of the people. Of course, he's going to win against the French national state, isn't he? And this is absurd. Well, like I said before, Canada and Europe has ocean has what am I saying? Has an ocean separating it. However, the French national state and the commune of France just has. And there we go, it's over. But the French national state and the commune of France, they just had a sea separating them. So, big mistake there. And Liberia, did they take any land? It got Sierra Leone from that. Good for, good for Liberia. I guess they got something out of that whole war engagement. And did somebody, what happened here? Oh, they're releasing all these independent states. That's what's going on. So we have like Morocco. Oh, Morocco already had land here. Henshin declared war on someone. And Assyria declares in, declares its independence against the, against the sublime Ottoman Federation. That's going on. And we're so ready to fight the Siamese. I'm going to need help from our allies. I really hope they don't join the Japanese faction. Japan, I don't think, is ready right now to allow anyone to join their faction besides Korea, who starts off in it. So please do not join the faction. Don't join that faction. Siam, I beg of you. Just let us beat you up peacefully. I mean, you can resist, but don't join the Japanese. We have the German Empire helping us. But don't you dare get help. And Portuguese Empire joining the Entente. A little, I don't think that was the best choice, but you do you, Portugal. We're ready to fight this war now. And in a focus tree, let's complete ease commercial taxes. And this will grant us a national spirit called ease taxation, which will give us higher factory output. And what is our, look at the army branch real, real quick. And for land auction, man over musket. And I may... Okay, I was just wondering. Yeah, we can't be defensive at all here. Can't afford... Well, I don't know. Man over musket. I don't like debuffs at all. Whatever, let's just come back to that later. Just do this for now. Get ease commercial taxes done. Declare war on Siam and call in all of our allies. We have an Ogliarchic authoritarian democracy versus a social democrat monarchy. That's what's happening here. So advance when ready. Get ready to push. Go. And no China, you better help us. I mean, Germany stays. The Netherlands wants to provide us some support. Thank you, Germany. I really need... Okay, so Malaya, Malaya is really not going too well for the Germany stage here. I hope they hold Vietnam better. They might do that, or they may fail horribly. I don't know. Victory. What am I getting this about? Oh, the Siamese-Burmese War. What in the world? So if we fail to capture these places, they get... They get higher base war support if we fail. So, interesting. I did not know that was a mechanic. So we have to win this war as fast as possible. Let's get some military XP, please. We have to move forward and take so many places. I'm not going to be able to reach all these places so quickly, for the record. I'm trying to, but it's like... Oh my goodness. Can we just go this way, please? Someone get down there. Get some more divisions deployed. We just need to outnumber them. Take as many important places as possible. Like this area here. Moon Mind. We need to have a victory there, for sure. We need to have it under our control. Can we? Do we have to control all of it? Or just part of it? I don't know how that works. But we'll try to control as much as we can if we can break through. Use force attack. Move faster, please. We took one province. Good, take the second one. Get down here to Tavoy. Capture Tavoy. Or wherever it's called. Is it right here? Yes, it is. Get down here. Take Tavoy. Capture the, capture the province. Please, for Burma. We had to do this. I don't want... Oh, great. They're going to defend it. Use force attack again. Free civilian factories. Build more stuff. Civil military factories. Hold on to what we captured also. Great. Can we deploy any new divisions? We cannot, I think. Oh, wait. We can. Hold on. I can deploy more divisions now. I did not know those decisions were a thing we had to keep track of. We'll found a new army. They'll push from here with Chin Molong Lat. I think that's the husband of the queen. So it's a, he's effectively the queen consort or... I think that's what you call him. So we took this place here. Good. Take this place also. King Tong. Did we cross the border? We did. Take Lower Shan. Capture it entirely. We have like three days. Move faster. Capture the city faster. Good. We captured that. So we're not going to be dealt too bad of a deal here when this happens. So we'll lose some base war support. And the Guinean Syndicalist Republic fell or something. We were forced to retreat from somewhere. Oh well. Just try to overwhelm the enemy. Continue pushing into 
They're pushing so hard into Indochina. What are you guys doing? German East Asia, get over here, please. Defend German East Asia. You even lost Malaya. Like, come on now, what are you doing? What indeed are you doing? And don't get encircled here. You form a line here. Japan announces her ambitions. Okay. And our, our allies going to come help us more? I don't know if they will or not. Just drive forward, cut them off if possible. Take these places here. We could cut them off from the rear. Maybe take Chuang Mai. Use that impassable terrain to our advantage, perhaps. So get there, please. Cut them off. Hold on to our gains. Cuba joined the Reich's Pact. Good. And the second army of Burma has arrived. Move in here. Take that province. Cut these guys off. Hawaii joined the Third International. That is going on. Keep attacking the enemy. Use force attack. How's equipment going? We're not doing so bad there. However, things could go could be going better for German East Asia, who, as I said before, they've lost Malaya and they're still struggling to hold on to. They're struggling to hold on to at this point. Struggle to hold on to support weapons. One is done being researched. They're struggling to hold on to Indochina. So let's move down south here. And what do we do? We searched rifle and body the Dai Dashe. What's this say? Man over musket. Okay, so let's go with a, revi a refined rifle, which will grant us a national spirit called quality firearms, which will make it easier to produce infantry equipment, which is weapons, essentially. Research slot available. Get some Mausers, please. I don't know if Siam has better equipment than we do. That could be playing a part in this war. Maybe. Just keep holding the line here. We need more divisions to hold our ground. I think Siam may slightly outnumber us. That is an issue. We will have to just accept as a thing that's happened. Okay, move back. You move back. There's so much impassable regions here. It makes it so hard to maneuver. It's so just impassable areas. Move back here. Concentrate on this unit. Keep taking more of these provinces. Good. This unit got cut off. Change that, please. Connect them together. Fix that. That is my order for you. And German Empire has called in Cuba to help us. I think the Reich's Pact is arriving more in force now. I'm trying to move this unit back up north. They may get destroyed. That upper Burma battalion may be out of luck. Possibly. And this unit is going to be deployed in Mandalay. Let's get them out here as fast as possible. they got to go south. So deploy this unit. And that's it for a rapidly deployed unit. Send them out. Go help this broken off unit in Tavoy. Head there, please, with those two divisions. And just focus on handling all of these all these Thai divisions. These guys got trapped in this impossible region area. Impassable region. That's a motorized unit. This this militia group is gone. They're trying to break out. Use last stand also. Use force attack and last stand. Do whatever we can. Cut these guys off here. Make sure they can't escape. East Turkestan has capitulated. They lost their war in the Xinjiang area. Destroy this unit here. Get this motorized group gone. Doctrines available. Continue on mass assault. Do unlock pocket defense. Good. And the Germans, these guys are trying to break out. They're trying to. We're getting some support, or support down to them now. I mean, just stay alive. We'll relieve them, possibly. Modify officer core, military high command focus. Go with army logistics or no. Don't worry about that for now. Break these guys out, though. Break them out. That's all you got to do. They're going to be destroyed. Fall of Lisbon has occurred. The uh, the Portuguese probably wish to join the Entente now, didn't they? And we did not. We weren't able to relieve the upper upper Burma battalion, but we are going to destroy this motorized division of Siam. And I think the German Air Force has arrived in the region. It looks like it. They're pushing pretty hard from Indochina now. We're trying to keep an offensive going just to put more pressure on the... put as much pressure as possible on the Siamese. Get some more units deployed when we can. We have enough manpower. Well, we need manpower, so don't use any... don't... don't... how to say... don't... what am I trying to say? Don't make any more divisions right now. So once these guys are ready, there's going to be no more units to be made. These guys are losing ground. Not good. Not good at all. Hold your ground here, though. Dick Trong declared one of Son of Nij, and here's some units from Alonia. They're here. So Siam has a relatively large army. I'll give them that, but they're just being outnumbered by the Reich's Pact and our units as we move more into move more into their territory. So keep going forward. Capture the rest of this. Take Get this division annihilated, please. I just need more manpower. Need, pol need more political power. Just a little bit more. Limited conscription is calling my name. But I can't get to it right now. And it's an issue. Can these guys break through here? Maybe they can. Do I go ahead and deploy another division? Possibly. That's going to be it, though. This is it. No more units right now. Red Flood event. 
Red Flood, Red Flood, get these units out here, good, go to the 1st Army, the 15 and 16 Rifle Division is going to go off to where they need to be, how's logistics looking? We don't need any trains right now, we're fine there, and we have taken out this enemy unit in this area. Focus 1 Division on moving in South Siam, and just move down through the Kira Isthmus, a refined rifle has been researched. Now let's do, I mean, we got that focus on, let's do orchestrated barrages to get a land doctrine bonus for research and go for Bangkok now, go for the capital of Siam, capture it, we must take it. We need every important city they control. Defeat these marines stationed here, if possible. Just get that done. Push onward for our country, please, and hold on to this area. Fall of Bangkok has occurred. Victorious Burmese soldiers march through the streets of Bangkok. That has happened, so... Hold this area, hold on to Bangkok, obviously, push out these marines even more. What cities are left? The Saudi Almani war is going on. What is their capital now? Where is it? It's on the border, is it? No, it's in Hatye. And it looks like the German Germany East Asia has moved more units back into Malaya. They're trying to take it back, move some units down toward that area, capture it, drive back this cavalry unit, just force them back. We need more units down here, evidently. So let's bring two units that aren't really doing anything down here. Their goal is to just drive on to the next to back up Hatiai, capture it. And the rest of the Burmese military is continuing on their march. There's more impassable terrain. There's so many mountains here, aren't there? Just a lot of mountains. A lot of them. And we need manpower, desperately. We just need it. We have some Ukrainian cavalry helping us out, I think. So get the Hatiai, capture it. What does the war score look like? I mean, they're not war score, but victory points. They're, they control 39% of their victory points, and they need 29% to lose. 29 or 20% or less to lose, and we're a little way off from there, but we'll get there eventually. Destroy these encircled units of Siam, or try to just get that done. There's probably a few more cities that will have to fall, but we'll get there. Capture all these areas, move to Hatyai now. There's like one cavalry division in the way, overwhelm them. And Keen Monglat has the husband of the queen has been injured. I think it's the husband of the queen anyway. I say that because I saw a picture of them prior, I doing some research before I went through, with, before I started this playthrough I saw him and he was standing with the queen here. Me at the firelight. So keep pushing here. We're going to link up. We have linked up successfully with the forces of Germany East Asia who are fighting pretty hard in Cambodia and Laos. Take Hadiai. Get through here, capture it, please. Get there, get there, get there. Capture this area, overwhelm these units. They have one cavalry division, a really battered and beaten cavalry division at that. And I think that's going to cut off several units here. Oh no, they still have cut the Baru. Take this place though, capture it. Get it done. And that's... So we beat Siam. Wow, I have I player-led peace conferences on though, so I don't want the Germans to take every little thing I captured. So in turn here, and let's hit done. That is that, and we have won our war with Siam. There's going to be no more Siamese, Siam Burma, Burma Siamese war. So that's those that era of wars with those neighbors, with those two countries, are over effectively with this victory since we annexed them. We'll probably have to like, I guess, put a puppet government in place, but you get the idea. And I am going to end what is part one of my kingdom of Burma playthrough and the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kaiser Redux here. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.